Eight and seven Las Vegas Raiders coming off a victory against the Denver Broncos. Just 17 to 13, but they got it done defensively and didn't make enough mistakes on offense to get it done. And you look at the Indianapolis Colts. This is a team that won on the road 22 to 16 at Arizona. They're nine and six. They're a seven and a half point favorite at home. I was so impressed by Indianapolis last week and their head coach, Frank Wright, on what he was able to do. Going into that game, they were down three offensive linemen going into the game, including Clinton Nelson, probably one of the best guards in the NFL, period, and one of the best offensive linemen, period. They lost three other offensive linemen, plus a blocking tight end in the game. They were still able to get Jonathan Taylor over 100 yards rushing in this game and find a way to win the football game. Carson Wentz, unfortunately, has been put on the COVID list right now. He has not been vaccinated, so he will probably not play in this game. So there's an issue at the quarterback position, but there's not an issue at the running back position. For one thing for Vegas, they better stop Jonathan Taylor, and they better do it early and often. Well, I think Frank Wright's been an excellent coach for the last couple of years. I've really been impressed with what Carson Wentz has done. You look at 3,300 yards almost, Mark, 25 touchdowns, only six interceptions, and he made two fantastic throws last week for touchdowns. I mean, the one to the corner of the end zone was incredible, particularly when it was out bounds. But Jonathan Taylor is so good. Yeah, he had a 50-yard run, which helped him with that 100 yards. He didn't do much because he had no help there. The offensive line, if they can give him a little bit of room, he can win that game all by himself. I think he definitely, it, it comes down to the MVP between he and, of course, Aaron Rodgers. But I think uh, Pittman, 76 receptions, 971 yards, five touchdowns, and you put him with Ty Hilton, I think they're very, very explosive at the wide receiver. Their offensive line's hurt, make no mistake about it. In addition to that, they have two safeties that are going to play in this game. Their defense is good, but not great. When I look at Vegas, uh, you know, Carr is explosive, 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. You look at Jacobs as a good running back, but he, he's a powery running back. He's not like Jonathan Taylor, who's capable of going 60 yards. And they have an extra receiver in, in Renfro. So they're a very dangerous football team. They won two in a row. They beat Denver 17 to 13. They beat Cleveland 16 to 14. That is why they're in the playoff hunt. This is a very, very important game for them. It's also important for the Colts. Now, let's look at the Raiders. They're averaging 21 points a game on offense, giving up 26 on defense, Mark. When you look at the Colts, they're averaging 28 points a game, 21 on defense. I think the Colts are going to find a way to prevail. I hope it. Carson Wentz can play in this football game, but he probably won't be able to. But I noticed right after the game, Mark, as soon as the game was over, he put a mask on immediately. And he knew that he was very vulnerable because he hadn't been vaccinated. But without him, who do they go with? That I really don't know where they go at quarterback. But I still think they'll find a way to win at home. 24, Vegas, 21. I'm looking at this game. It's probably going to be Sam Ellinger at the quarterback position, the old Texas quarterback. He's coming in as a young quarterback and rookie playing. But I think when you look at the situation, they're trying to find, uh, sign Phillip Rivers to come in and play in emergency status. If they can get Phillip Rivers to come in, I don't know what kind of shape he's in. I know he's been coaching high school football. But if they end up signing him this week and he comes in and plays, if that offensive line can stay healthy, that's the key. One thing about Vegas when you look at this offense, Derek Carr's done a decent job with all the problems they've had off the field of play, not only on the field of play, they're just inconsistent for me to pick them. Too inconsistent, actually. Even though they've won their last two games, I can't count on them. Hopefully, Darius Leonard, one of the best linebackers in the league, will be back for Indianapolis. They also missed him last week against the Cardinals and still were able to find a way to win and hold the Cardinals to just 16 points. I look at this football game as going to be a low-scoring game just because of those factors on both sides of the ball. Vegas only scored 17 last week. Colts only scored 22. They're given seven and a half at home, which is a lot of points, coach. I'm still going to go with the Colts. I just think this team, they just look feisty. They just they were just fighting scrappy, and I, I like their attitude and the way they play. If they carry that over this game against Vegas, they'll win the game, and they'll cover the seven and a half. Not going to be high scoring. I got, I got Vegas losing and going down 21 to 10. Well, if they can bring Phillip Rivers back, Mark, he, he's played for about 18 years in that league. He was with the Colts last year. He understands the offense. Everything. It really wouldn't be much difficult in Long Island because he's never been a threat to run the football at all. But I, I do believe that the Colts are a football team. They're playing very, very well. They're probably playing better then their talent would enable them to play at the present time because they're a close team. They're competitive. It's that everybody's trying to help one another. So that's why I believe that the Colts will end up prevailing in this game, predominantly because it's at home. Not only that, how about the way they started the season at 0-3, and, and now they've gone 9-3 and three since, and they're 9-6 nine, nine and six 
and they're going to be probably in the playoffs. That's the team that I don't want to face going into the playoffs. They make the playoffs and get in, which they probably should, with the record that they've got left, the schedule that they've got left. This is a dangerous football team if they're healthy. They, they, if they're healthy, that is the big thing. Their offensive line is good, and I, I think that uh, Jonathan Taylor has been fantastic this year. But some of the great runs you'll ever see are getting back to the line of scrimmage last week against the Cards.